Breach presentation is the most common mal presentation and incidence being 3% at term and 7% at 32 weeks of gestation. For easy remembrance, this is not from textbooks, otherwise you can remember them. Presentation can be 97% cephalic, 3% is others. Of the 97%, again divide them into 97 and 3. 97% would be vertex and 3% would be again 97% occipital posterior, 3% would be face and brow. The remaining 3%, you would divide them as 97 and 3 again, 97% of them being breach and 3% of them being oblique lie and transverse lie. So keep the rule of 97, 3 which remembers and remains in your mind always. Coming to the causes of breach presentation, there could be varied causes and which leads the topmost would be prematurity. When we have a baby at 33, 34 weeks, then it could be in breech presentation. And having said that, if you do extreme prematurity, for example, 28 weeks, and I'm sure the baby can lie down in any position. And so it could be a breach, of course. And so breach in a preterm is not something unusual. And that is why prematurity tops the list of causes of breech presentation followed by polyhydramnios and of course multiparity needs to be mentioned there and multiple pregnancy off late comes into picture because of the increased usage of IVF and ART procedures and when we have two babies one could be in a breech presentation whether the first or the second. Abnormal placentation, uterine anomalies not very common though. Myoma sitting in the lower uterine segment not allowing the head to come down. Fetal anomalies like an anencephaly or a hydrocephalus where the head is bigger, it occupies the fundus for the very simple reason fundus is big and so that could be a reason for the breech presentation and of course rare conditions like fetal neuromuscular disorders like muscular dystrophy and trisomy could be a cause of breech presentation. I'm sure all of you will be easy to remembering the uh, types of breech, the frank breech where this degree of flexion is maintained all over and the incomplete breaches which you can know here and there. So you would divide them into complete and incomplete breach. The complete breaches with the degree of flexion is maintained in all the joints of the body. Coming to the incomplete breach, you have three types of incomplete breach, the frank breach, the footling breach and the knee presentation. And here what happens is that when the inner frank breach, the degree of flexion is broken at the knee joint and so that is the first picture which you are seeing and when the degree of flexion is broken at the hip joint you will get the for footling presentation the degree of flexion is broken uh, at the knee and the hip joint you will get the footling whereas the degree of flexion is broken only at the hip joint and not at the knee then you get a knee presentation. The denominator engaging diameter and positions in breech presentation denominator would be the sacrum Engaging diameter is bitrochantric, which is again the 9.5 centimeter, same as that of a vertex. But then there is a lot of difference between vertex and a breach. Coming to positions, you could have the left sacro anterior, left sacro posterior, right sacro anterior, right sacro posterior. And coming to diagnosis of breach, it's quite obvious that in a fundal group, you will see the hand, I mean, feel the hand, which is a compact globular head at the fundus, and of course, balotable. On the umbilical grip, you will see back to one side and limbs to the other side. Not much of a difference between a cephalic and a breech. In the first pelvic grip, you will see a firm, broad, irregular breech which is not balotable in the lower pole. And on a vaginal examination, you will see the sacrum ischial tuberosities, feet or knee anus extension genitalia only when the cervix is dilated to almost 3 or 4 centimeters. Otherwise, it's difficult to do a pervaginal examination. And if the os is closed and she's not in labor, doing a pervaginal examination, you will only be able to see a soft structure, which is very different from that of the head. And that could be felt through the phonicious rather than the cervix because the cervix is not open yet.